Good morning, YouTube! What the... Good morning, ladies and mostly gentlemen. I'm Vinny B, and welcome to part... 10! The second video on the braking system. Okay, okay, right, stop the music. Let me... I always script my intros and outros, always, because Frenchy. <laughs> and in the intro at the beginning, I wrote a couple of lines regarding that I was reaching 2000 subs. And I put there so many good jokes. It was by far the best part of the video. But here's what happened. A friend of mine, a YouTuber friend of mine, made me a shout out on his last video. And probably some of you are coming from his channel, Austin Carlson, which I uh, salute. Thank you, man. And I just exploded the 2000 subs, so... Here goes my script. But it was also my birthday this week, for real. <laughs> just turned 20, 20, turned... Yeah, I was born in 30. Just turned 29, or 39. And I usually don't ask for much, but if you think that this content can be appreciated by some of your buddies, you could talk about it, share it on other platforms. In short, spread the words, share the love. What the... All right, back to the main topic here. In the last episode, we completed and installed the pedal box on the Smart Booza. Today, we will refurbish the 2007 Jetta's caliper that I'm using on the Smart, and we will add a performance package complete with discs and pads. Mwah. And then we will plumb the brake and the clutch lines. Bleed all this and hope for the best. Like, no leaks. There, there's gonna be leaks. Yeah, there's too many leaks. All right, let's go to work. completely seized.
I was looking at it and I just wanted to share a, a brief moment with you guys. I just built all of this. <laughs> I've never done that before. I think I'm, I'm proud. Yeah, I think I'm proud. And this thing's gonna be fast and safe. I just keep being amazed by this performance package. This is how they balance the disc. It's not notch, it's machine. It's a very nice braking kit. Me like it. All right, that's it. Hey, so I'm I'm not alone today. Yeah, I'm with my good buddy Dave. Say hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, we're plumbing the brake lines, and he used to be a mechanic. He knows what he's doing more than me uh, regarding brakes. And with all that single double bubble thing, I I wanted to have an expert on hand. So that's it. He's going to do that and I'm going to do something else because as you can see, uh, we still have a lot of things to do. So back to work. Much, much, much later. Oh, <laughs> we were so close on this one. All the lines were bleeded. Yeah, we did have some leaks. Like six or seven of them but it's all it's all solved it's all resolved it's all sealed everything is fixed now and we were uh fine-tuning the clutch because you know that this is a master cylinder and this one is normally for a car and the clutch for hayabusa it's actuated by a lever an end lever so we didn't want to send too much oil to the slave cylinder for the clutch not to broke anything. The engine was engaged and David was pushing the pedal, sending oil to the slave cylinder. And I was trying to move, but nothing moved. So the problem here was that I was trying to turn using by hand the sprocket. And I was just too weak or something, I don't know. Because what happens is that we send too much oil to the slave cylinder and we broke the casing. Right there. So it's been a long day, but we want to get this thing done and we just don't want to finish the day with a failure. Me and David's gonna take out the casing, try to fix it, try to weld it. I know it's cast aluminum. I don't know if it's gonna be easy to do, but we want to get this thing uh, fixed and working by tonight. So let's get back to work. One eternity later. Yeah, it's broken right here this is the closest boat to the slave cylinder that maintain and place the cover that so that's why it broke right here it's not completely broke it's probably fixable hopefully fixable so we'll see The prettiest thing in the world, but I think it's gonna do just right. All right, back in the car. Now it's back in the car and it works. Woohoo! Yay! Thank you, Dave. We're gonna show you all the pedals. How sweet are the pedals if you want to match Rev or. That's a clutch. Ooh, nice moves. Seriously, it feels amazing. That's that's just a beauty. Oh yeah, again, big thank you, Dave. Anytime, my friend. Anytime. Oh yeah. Ooh, nice moves. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh. that's just a beauty. Sweet, feels amazing. Ooh, ooh. Why? Who did that? That's it. It's it's without me. No. Nope. Bye. No. Nope. All right. So everything works. Um, one thing though that I didn't mention on the previous video, the pedal box, because it was getting very long, is that I redid the mat on the brake pedal. First, you have to understand that all the design of the Smart Booza, it's a big, big guesswork. There's no book on how to design pedal boxes for dummies. I know, I googled it. 
So to get started, I measured my Civic pedals to get the height and the distance between each pedals, knowing that I was comfortable with this setting. And the rest is just looking at pictures of aftermarket pedal boxes and extrapolate dimensions, like distance between pivots, master cylinder positions, and so on. That being said, let's get back to the brake pedal. And I did some calculation. Oh, shit. And yeah, I made a second pair of side plates for the brake pedal. Moving closer the pivot point of the pedal to the pivot point of the master cylinder only by three quarter of an inch. Increasing my leverage for my foot and reducing the distance between pivots. That little move of three quarter of an inch doubled the forces applied by my foot into the master cylinders. Woo! I cannot tell you if version 1 of the brake pedal would have been okay-ish with the smart boozer, but what I can tell you is that the version 2 feels like a normal car. So sometimes you have to take one step back and make it right. Oh yeah! Alright, so that's it for me. We're gonna see you on the next episode on the smart boozer. And we're gonna install the seat, steering wheel and the shifter. Boop, boop, boop. So go do something worth your head, your hands or both. See ya! That's it. Salut! Je suis en train de me filmer. Ben, c'est pas grave. Ah, ben merci. Tu peux l'entendre? Ouais, pas de problème.